my concern was uh, guys started looking around like, you know, who's going to score? <laughs> you know, you just got, we, we got to play. And uh, some guys, so finally the, somebody, I think Dave made a big shot. Two in that run where, where, we, where we got some extension. So, you know, uh, he's been down that road before. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to make a move and have him in the game at that point. <laughs> because I knew we needed somebody to make one. Johnny wasn't having a, he's 0 for 5 from 3 tonight. Um, so uh, it's hard to throw it in the post because they were swarming our post guy. Even though we could get it in, we couldn't get it up to the rim. They were stripping him. Cody was really having trouble with it. Uh, Jaime was having trouble with it. Um, but they've been playing really well of late. Like they're a totally different team than they were in uh, – December. I mean, it's like watching a different team play. Uh, when you're all in, uh, yeah, we had time. You know, I think like uh, like all teams. You know, at times, today's player, um, as you come hang out with me sometime in the summer, there's not a lot of passing in the summer. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, if you don't pass the ball, if you get to your second and definitely your third dribble to going towards the rim, Arizona State takes those. They strip you. They just leave. They don't care how well you shoot it. They just leave and go strip you. Um, it's not like, you know, we just started playing. So I think some guys, Jaime and Johnny, they made a few buckets. It was like, well, I'm just going to go score for my team. But you're not getting to the rim against those guys. They're stripping you every time. So once we started passing the ball versus their help, uh, and you know, we started getting some shots again. So, you know, we're out there without a point guard. Uh, we still got the 12 assists, though. No, I tried to tell you guys in October. You know, no, and I'm telling you, in October, it was like this. Every day in practice, every day. I mean, everybody that came through and watched practice that I allowed in, everybody. And then he took the free, you know, then he went down. I think the day before we scrimmaged, I think I'm not, I don't think he played in the scrimmage. Um, you know, it's just been, you know, then you got two weeks of COVID where nobody practices. He's had like three or four two week where he just wasn't playing basketball. So hopefully we can keep him on a run. I wish he would try to stop trying to dunk on people. And I see my see, I see our season flashing before my eyes as he's up in the air. He, he's all, when I evaluated him, I thought the best thing he did on offense was pass. Which is, you don't say that about him. today's player. It's a, it's a rarity of today's player. Um, you know, his explosiveness. You know, some guys have explosiveness, but they don't have toughness and a nose for the ball. I would say the, the thing that he has that you can't teach is his nose for the ball. I mean, he's just, as you know, I mean, he just has an unbelievable nose for the ball. Whether it's coming off the rim, it's on the ground, his anticipation of the passing lane, can't teach it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, look, you know, unless it stayed over 10, I knew it was coming. I'm watching them play, I, you know. Um, they've done a great job of re-rallying. They had got it off to such an awful start. They had some rough beats at the buzzer. With all, you know, Heath's new, Jackson's new, Horn's new, Gaffney's new. So, uh, Luther sat out last year. Boyaki's new. You know, everybody's new except Lawrence and Graham, their whole team. So, it just took them time. They'd come in winning three in a row, and they, had, they gave up 53, 55, and 57 in the three games before ours. So, they're quick, and they're athletic, and they attack the ball. Bobby's always been a, a, a – teaches his teams to be aggressive. So, and then, you know, obviously, and we had no preparation. Tiger went through shoot around. He went through our pregame practice. He went through walk through last night, and his shoulder was just bothering him. You know, Peyton uh, wasn't totally confident either. So I'd like to just, you know, mess with the Pac-12 the way I feel about it right now and just say it was load management, but shoulder and every real, real injuries. Yeah, as they put me in that group. Yeah, well, I, you know, Jaime had five turnovers. Um, you know, look, I'm going to tell you guys this about Jaime Jaquez. 
um, most guys wouldn't be playing. So um, he would not desert his team, though. Most guys wouldn't be playing. I mean, he doesn't practice. He does walkthroughs and shoots and that, but he doesn't live practice, which is hard. You know, how do you get it? It's tough to get a rhythm. But right now, none of us are live practicing, so we get a game every other day. So um, he's just a, he's a gamer of all gamers. So it's just great to see him getting a little bit of a flow because he's clearly, you know, probably playing at 60, 70 percent of who he is. Because I like to put the ball in his hands up top, you know, especially when he gets a bigger guy. But his speed right, right now isn't the same. But it was good to see him get a, get a couple threes to go down. Tremendous, yeah. Well, like Tracy, you hear me where Alpha and Stott, I, I'm pat, you got past the ball. I, I don't know. I think he might have made the – I'm not sure who made the pass to Jules, too. But he just – the layup didn't go in. We started getting better ball movement, and we got open shots. Coach Huggins, hey, uh, uh, Coach, Coach Huggins, a finalist for Hall of Fame. It's awesome. He should, uh, Coach Huggins should be in the Hall of Fame, period. And he's got 900 wins. Uh, I think he's fourth right now all time. Just, you know, uh, I'm hoping he gets in so we can all go up there and whenever they – said August. I, I went with Coach Patino got in. So uh, I'd be shocked if he doesn't get – disappointed, shocked if Coach Huggins didn't – I want him to get in soon now. So then if he wants to walk away, he's, he walk away. I worry about him. Coach, David had a couple uh, clutch threes when the game was getting close there. Um, I yeah, know no, they got close. <laughs> those were his only points of the night, but he had a big game on, um, yeah. on Saturday too. Can you just talk about his, his contribution? Oh, it's huge. You know, to have a veteran guy like Dave who's all about team, you know, and he's, he's been in those moments. So, you know, he just shoots it like it's a normal shot. You know, to have a veteran guy like that. He, you said he's got belief in his, his self. Got it? Go Chugs, Hall of Fame.